got a new mission today. Got to do some chimney repairs. There's four flues this side. Fair, it's not in bad order. It's quite solid. We start to clean some of the old debris off it. So if we look at the top, we got to get rid of all this sort of grassy stuff, moss. And we've got to take that one out, that flue out there, the liner. We've got to lose that, and then we've got to have a new one put in. But if you look, a little grass, years and years of just been left really, is how they go. But in consideration, that's not in bad nick. So we've we'll got to get rid of all of this, all that go, all that'll go. And then we get brushed and we'll keep sweeping and sweeping it. And we'll get it back to its bare minimum before we can actually start doing some repairs. So we've got a little bit of work, clean it all out. If you look there, look, that's just grown in a long while. That's a grass, moss, proper Norfolk grass, that boy. <sighs> that one's filled up with rubbish. Right, so now we've got to do a little bit of an old Indian trick and we've got to try and identify which part is which and if they're, if they're clear or fill up with old jackdaws nests so I've got a simple line the pin we'll roll that down and uh, that's as what, simple as it is Right, oh, lovely view man Woohoo, view to die for So what we're doing is we've got to get rid of this pipe here which is breaking out the cement and sand screed it's been here a long while, ever so gently get that clear, then we've got to drop this out and there's got a new one going in so we've started breaking that all up and there's a connected to a little aluminium plate let's see there and let the fun begin oh, that bit can stay there that's below the top of the chimney now Come. You what? That's as much as it'll come. Yeah, well, that's, that's all we need to be fair for now. Brilliant. Right, so what we've done, we've cleared the tops. We got that one out, that one out. When I drop that, that's got to be capped off. And we've got to see about cleaning the rest of the rubbish up now. Right, we got it back to its bare bones. We've got all the sort of like weeds and stuff. And we're getting, we've got to put some treatment on it. I'm going to see if it's setting some parts up on here and see which ones they want to cap off completely. Fortunately, these were probably touched up, I would say, in the 50s personally. How hard the render is of the cement sand. That sort of aids it a little bit. We've got a little bit of wear and tear there, but to be fair, some pretty good nick. Nothing we can't put right. There's your part, that's what we've got to put on. Clay, look. Right, we've now got to see about setting up the parts. We've got to cut this slate to the shape of the part, put more slate there, and then we've got something to bed the flanging on. So that's the next project. We've got to do that four times. Got a brick stick out. Just got a little. Let's make everything uneven. Tidy that up. Ooh. And then that sticks up there like so. Then we'll move that part to there, then we'll put that on top of that. We're just getting these all cut dry. So we've got the first two done, then what we'll do where you see these get, we'll put more slate. We'll get them all lined up, then we'll put a nice fill over the top of that, a real strong 3-1, even a 2-1. We've got the pots in situ, so before we cement, I'm just having a look from the distance, the only place you can really see them from is down this road. So nothing looks out of place, so let's just go for it. Now getting the only cement sand on, it's white cement. Put a good old layer on there. Just get it roughly in first all over, and then we can, we can tidy it up. Getting the camper on. Heading around the pots. It's 
just got to always create a fall from your chip, your part down to your the edge. And we'll get it all on, then we'll touch it all up. So you won't fall away from the part. That's what the idea is. So nothing wrong here. This end is already starting to go. So I've got a smaller trial now, and I'll just start to shape up nicely. Nice. Pull that from there down to there. It's just got a little fall away from the pot. Make sure it's all run towards the edge. That's already starting to pull, so now it's starting to go. I'll tell the image that in a minute. Right, get the top somewhere in there. So it's just starting to take, take the shape we want. And just work the way around. I'll take a little more of that off. And then I'll just work on the edge, work on the edge, work on the edge. Slowly. So you've got to work around. You can't, you can't get it in the first attempt. That's old boy style, that's where you would get it in the first go. Oh. And go back on that. That ain't quite ready to put it where you want it, but you get it somewhere near. So now, let's leave that for a little while. Right, now you got all the way around at once. So what we can do now is to start just getting it, that little shape, that little round that we want. Get anything Run around on it, we don't want, and then we'll give it an R just to come off a bit and touch it up. And then we can start putting a little plinth on there. Let's change trolls and my little cubby hole. So all I'm doing, I'm, I'm not trying to get it polished, I'm just want to get the shape I want, because I'm going to brush it. And that, that does help it prevent cracking. This is really strong mix we've got up here. It's a 3-1. And that's a white cement. And that's purely down to the, the customer's request, that's what they want. That's something that was. Well, we've got little varmints walking around on there. I was looking at the big ones, I don't care. Okay, so you can see that one, two, three, four parts. That one's just blanked off over there. Just fail that one there. Still, that's nearly there. Yeah. Right, get the bit of print on the rest of it. And we can leave it for a while. A little bit of a rush at the minute. Put that on there. Squip the bucket like that. Up there. Oh, there you go. Again, again. A bit of nut. Roll it up the side of the bucket. There. And again. Back of the troll. And now you can see, if you look around there, you see the plume taking shape, and that's the drip, 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 and you have all the hang. And that's not doing it all running into your building. The key when you're doing this is in your gear. If your gear ain't right, you've got no chance of being out of work. So you get the right gear. Mix the right consistency and know exactly what you've got to do with it and how it's got to react. And each thing you do on these old places is always something 
different this will just make your gear a little different but this I've got this just right so it's a 3-1 mix and now it's yeah starting to go once I get this plinth on I can go around touch it up one more time so we get that like that look, up there back to the trail left it a little while now so we get a little brush and we'll just pin on little bits off around there give that a nice job put it in there just take that sharpness of it We're not trying to make it shiny, we just want to stop it cracking. Yeah, it's looking good. We've got a shelf there now, look. So where'd it go? Just putting the final touches. Top there. Yeah, there. 40 feet in here, no one's got safe, but you can't make it look right. So we roll this little bit in there. That. Use my old small tool. So now we've got transition from that, that's that, and that, that's all the same colour. So we nearly got the finished article there. Just got to give it a light brushing, and then uh, it's looking good. Managed to get all the parts on. We pointed up this course as well. Got this little plinth on all around. So now we can eventually we can start taking this and get that all sorted. To be fair, some pretty good nick. You know, quite hard. It's got had a 1950s, early 60s repoint, I would say. That there is nothing major. Get rid of that. Yeah. Just hope the rain keep off. That's our, that's our big thing now. So, four parts on. 